Um, I was gone a couple of days there because every morning there was new TV spots. Every single day there is new footage. I don't, I, I really don't know what Warner Brothers is doing. I don't know why they're especially giving away Easter eggs as big as, you know, skip 10 seconds if you don't want to hear this little spoiler. They're literally carrying Kong on a net with helicopters like the original. End of spoiler. So they, 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 they've given away a really good Easter egg to the original King Kong vs. Godzilla. That's gone. That's out of the bag. No more surprise for that. They've ruined tons of other things like uh, the fake Skull Island thing. Like, it's very upsetting that they're making the same mistake they did last time. Let's just hope that they have a million other things up their sleeve and they can impress me somehow. But either way, I'm going to do a breakdown of this because it is an official trailer. It's a Chinese trailer, so whatnot. But TV, TV spots I'm not doing. I'm not touching that stuff. So first, we have a couple little things in news. We have Kingdom Kong and Godzilla Dominion now have cover arts, like official cover art. They look kind of goofy, if I'm going to be honest, but 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 they're fine enough. They're, they're co it's cover art. It, it doesn't really matter. So the next thing of news is that Total Film, apparently their next magazine or whatever, has an exclusive for GVK. It is on the cover, so that's pretty exciting. We might get a new shot or two from that, so that's cool. And I think the only other news would be that they also have a Chinese poster that's released alongside this, this uh, trailer. Poster is nice. It's really high quality. You can get a nice image of this. It's it's a wallpaper for sure. Um, definitely got some Kong Skull Island vibes. I really like it. It's kind of just Godzilla and Kong fighting, you know, in the water, but also the cities in the background. It's kind of just like a perfect poster for everything. So I'm a big fan of it. It looks great. I think they scaled up Godzilla's head to make him look a little more normal. Either way, I think it looks great. So what about this trailer? It's a minute long. There's nothing really too special about it, but it's cool. There's some new stuff, and I want to talk about it. So we start off, and Kong is on the island, and he's yawning, which is a great shot. He looks like Mighty Joe Young there. I don't know why, just the proportions and everything, the way that he roars. He looks exactly like Mighty Joe Young from the Disney version. And then Gia runs through the forest, and then we see what looks like a camera, maybe, or some kind of device, like they're monitoring Kong or whatever. I don't know what that is. But then Rebecca Hall says, oh, he trusts her. And then we get these same shots of her holding up the doll and Rebecca Hall talking to Alex Skarsgård, whose name is Nathan Lind, I believe, in this movie. So I remembered one. And oh, and she's Eileen Andrews. There we go. I'm remembering them now. So that's nothing too special. Kong does sign language and then Gia does a back, which is awesome to see. We get the same shot of Kong throwing the spear tree thing into the barrier. And we see that, well... It's not really Skull Island. Big spoiler, I guess. And I want to point out that because the music is going to be throughout the trailer. I'm just going to say it now. The music is really cool. It's It has this like King of the Monsters like oh, kind of vibe to it. So I'm really digging that. We get more shots of the aircraft carrier and stuff. We don't care about any of this old stuff. We get a, a new shot of what looks like one of the boats toppling over. And we see Kong also falling from a window. So that's pretty neat. Kong breaks his collar. We get a, a more extended shot of that. And God, he looks really cool. Then my favorite shot of the trailer. Absolutely my favorite. Kong is in the Hollow Earth, clearly. And he's got the axe and he's sitting down. And he jams his axe. He like slams his axe into the ground like he's king. And all I could think of was a Kong Skull Island concept art. Where Kong is sitting in the throne. He's like literally a king sitting in an actual throne. Really cool stuff. I think it looks great. Godzilla destroys more shit. We've seen that. Kong, you know, being carried in Antarctica, which is, you know, big spoiler, but whatever. Just give that away, too. <laughs> I still can't believe that they did that. Then we have Kong jumping, what looks like in Skull Island. I'm not sure. Gia does some chest pounding. Kong does some chest pounding, but we've seen all that before. Then we get a really nice shot of Madison Russell and what looks behind her to be Brian Tyree Henry's character, I forget his name, I'm sorry, and they're clearly inside of Mechagodzilla or, or Ghidorah, whatever it is, who the fuck knows. We get a nice rooftop shot of Ren Serizawa in front of the helicopter, and he's looking out, in, and he sees Godzilla in the city, coming to the city, and this is 
probably right next to the shot where he does destroy whatever that is. I'm not sure what that is, a tanker or something. I don't know what it is, but it's right after it, and it looks about the same. So I think Ren Serzao is kind of following around like, oh yeah, he is destroying shit. Good. He's doing what we want. It's a really nice shot. I think the perspective of it is great, and we have this really nice... Um, God, we have this like perfect kind of music going right along with it. And I love how this kind of goes right back to Sarazawa when Godzilla was coming out of the water. It's so perfect. It's just like, you know, Sarazawa hates Godzilla again, just like in the old movie or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Then we get more explosions and then we get this shot that I was incorrect about. And I'm here to admit I was incorrect about it. So it's the shot where we're inside the building and we see Godzilla and Kong from that perspective. And Godzilla is, in fact, attacking Kong. He bites Kong right in the shoulder and surprises the shit out of him. I think it looks really cool. Might have been edited for the trailer, but damn, that's a fast bite. Then we have Madison Russell and, oh my god, Brian Terry Henry and Julian Dennison. I don't know their names, but they're jumping, exciting, excited, celebrating something. Who knows what it is? Maybe Godzilla will be Mecha Godzilla. Who the fuck knows? Then we see Kong jumping. It's a sh perspective shot from inside one of the probably the main ship that they're in in the aircraft carrier scene which by the way junkie xl confirmed that's 18 minutes long that's eight that's an 18 minute long scene that's incredible then we have the shot of godzilla getting pushed off the boat but then we have some new stuff this is cool it's more extended we see kong on the ground backing up godzilla stepping on him kong trying to move his foot off and godzilla just roaring in his face and that's the trailer that's it it's pretty exciting so I was a fan of this. I thought that, you know, had we removed the context from the TV spots, I'd be kind of mad that it gave stuff away, but didn't really show us anything we haven't seen before, I guess. Kong sitting in his Hollow Earth layer is just absolutely amazing. <laughs> I mean, that's got to be the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> um, other than that, the music was good. Uh, some of the shots of Godzilla were nice. I'm a big fan of this. What do you guys think about this trailer? Are they going to do a final trailer? Dude, I have no idea at this point. We will see. I think they might, but either way, what do you guys think about this? More things to come. Look out for my documentary and my interview. That should be coming next week. Thanks for watching.